So I put on there to start small because when you're making goals, you want to start doing a lot of small ones. So five minute reading or 30 minute workout and you want to complete those over and over get in the habit of completing your goals then you can move up in size and that's when you do the bigger goals oh i want to work out for an hour and 30 minutes today i want to read a whole chapter today i want to read a book a week i want to read a book a month whatever it is all right so for daily goals these are things that you want to do you know during the day that you're writing it and i write these in the morning preferably so one of them could be as written, wake up early and have a healthy breakfast. putting check marks next to the goals that I achieved that day for the daily goals. The reason why I do that is because you're celebrating every win, just like the title of this video. When you go out, you write it down in your journal and you go out and you achieve that goal. No matter how big or how small, I like to, at the end of the day, I like to go in my journal and I'll say, hey, good job, or I'll put a check next to it like I did in the video. Good job, you wrote this down, you went out there and you did it. So for the personal goals, they're similar to the daily goals, but they're kind of meant for more time. So it could be a week or two weeks or even a month. And that's why on there I said I wanted to reach 180 pounds by next Thursday. So that was yesterday. And I actually did do that. And that's also why I have I want to do something productive every day. And I also wrote because this is what I'm learning from my book that I want to love every day. Before you set any goals, you need to love that day. You need to be ready for it. You need to know that you're about to have an amazing day and you can achieve those goals. You need to believe in yourself first. So financial goals are involving, you know, whatever you do to make money, whatever business you have for yourself. For me, it's training, so I want to cultivate myself to become the best trainer I can be, you know, bring the best programs to my clients. Um, also, I talked about how I want to have five clients during the summer, and that's on my own through my own programs and training them, you know, meeting them uh, multiple times a week. Also, I talked about I want to make at least 2500 this summer, and that's through training alone, you know, without any other job. So those are my goals financially. All right, so now for celebrating every win, kind of like I said earlier, you, you know, no matter what goal it is, no matter how big or how small, you want to at least congratulate yourself or, you know, make mark of it in your journal or whatever you're using. Hey, I did this, you know, I completed this, you know, what's next? It's always what's next. You know, you don't focus on the past, you know, you complete a goal and then you move forward. And you say, hey, let's go. What's next? Come on, give it to me. And you just, that's how you get on the track of completing shit. You just keep going and you keep going and you keep going and you don't stop until you find yourself at the top. That's what I go by. You know, all this stuff I write down, all this, you know, I read five minutes a day. I read five minutes a day, you know, and I'm asking myself, how can I apply it to my life? I'm doing all this because I'm trying to be the best I can be. You know, this, this is what I'm focused on in life. This is my focus. And you got to you got you got to ask yourself, you know, is this what I'm focused on? Or am I going to be focused on playing video games and just eating chips? Like, nah, this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to be the best and I'm going to be the best. Because the only one stopping you is you. <laughs>